podcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. It's Tim Wilmot here from Wizard Systems. Thanks for joining me today for our Workbooks Hangout session, our regular series of short Workbooks presentations focusing on different things around Workbooks. And this morning, I'm going to cover the integration with Google Docs. Um, Google Docs, if you're not aware, it's part of uh, G Suite, Google's cloud solution. Um, a bit like an online version of Word, if you can think of it that way. So this presentation will be about, um, well, fairly sure about 10 minutes, quarter of an hour or so. Uh, it's just an overview of this feature, not meant to be um, in-depth training. Uh, my company, Wizard Systems, offer many um, extensive training options around template creation in workbooks um, if you want to explore those uh, with us. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel. I'll do my best to answer those at the end. It's probably best to type them in as soon as you think of them rather than wait till um, the, the very end of the call. Uh, also, at the end, I will be giving you an update on any workbooks uh, product news and training courses that we've got available. Uh, this call is being recorded as well, so after the uh, presentation, you will get an email from our system with a link to the recording, maybe after about a day or so, I think it goes out. Um, so watch out for that email and have a link to the recording, and we'll probably post it to our YouTube channel as well. Okay, so let's get started. Just a very brief mention about ourselves. I think most people on the call um, this morning, and we've got about 30 people on the call, uh, I think most people are aware of us. So uh, all we do is CRM. Um, lots of experience with CRM. We've implemented well over 3,000 systems in our time. Um, Specialist around workbooks. Workbooks is one of the few different solutions we provide. Um, but workbooks is our primary cloud CRM solution, and we we offer any services around workbooks, um, implementation help, customization, integration with other applications, training, um, and help desk support. Okay, so let's get into workbooks then and show you the Google Docs integration. So Google Docs, um, if you think how you might use Word or have been using Word to create any forms, documents, templates, so it's a really nice integration um, between workbooks and Google Docs to create those uh, documents um, from a template, merging in information from a particular type of record in workbook. So let me just um, take you through a simple example of, say, producing a quotation in Google Docs. Um, and then I'll create a new template um, as the strap line of the um, presentation was all about creating a contract template in, in five seconds. Uh, so we'll see how we get on. But first of all, let's see one that um, we've got here already. So if I go to my start menu and let's just pick up a quotation. So here we've got um, a draft quotation. If I just click on that, fire this one up. So here's my quotation with some items on the quotation as well. Um, I've got my Google Docs um, integration set up as a little button here on the Notes tab. So I can click on that. And then depending on the type of record I'm on, I'll have a drop down list of the one or many templates at my disposal. So here's, here's one that I created earlier, simple quotation with images, of course, um, as you may know, you can actually store images of your products and services, and that can be um, then auto-populating and, and appear on your, your, your actual sales quotation. So this 
this is the Google Docs um, interface, if you like, within workbooks. Um, but you can see here, it's actually merged in details of the customer, the quote number, dates, of course, salesperson's name, and then the the items on that quote. So that's the, the general interface. And you know, this is Google Docs. So you got all the sort of things that you would have had in Word or any other um, document editor. It's all online. It's all in the cloud. A great way of um, producing that, and it, and indeed sharing it with your team members as well. So you can set up little chat and comments around that document. So that's one that we've created earlier. And as I said, um, it's very easy to create these new templates um, from scratch um, if you're not familiar with the template creation uh, process in workbooks. So if I go back to my start menu and as an administrator, so maybe not everyone will have access to the configuration menu um, as an administrator would do. So here, obviously, we can we can manage the setup of any uh, component or aspect of workbooks. But here's my template section here. And if I go to all templates to show all the templates I've got in the system, there they are there. Um, and if I just scroll over, it, the context in which these um, templates are used, there's this Google Docs column I've got displayed. So I can see um, easily at a glance those templates that I can launch from uh, workbooks that are going to be compatible with Google Docs. So let's create a new template. So up there, new template button. Now, workbooks got a really nice feature to create new templates based on a particular type of record. So if it was a quotation or a customer record, it's actually going to do a lot of work for you to create the basics of pretty much everything that you need. So I'm going to create um, my new template based on a record type. And here now are all of the different types of records that were the main types of records that we're looking after in workbooks. There they all are there. You'll recognize most of them. Um, but here's cu customer contracts. So if I just click on that one, and um, it's only given me one option here, a contract. So I'll just select that one. And this is where I now um, can top and tail the title of this contract. So let's just call it contract new or whatever it might be. But if I just scroll down here uh, a little bit further, you'll see in my in this design box here, you can see the syntax of these merge field so just as i said it's it's actually creating all of the main fields that you would expect um, to go on a contract type document including there can you see um, this little section that's going to insert all of the individual items on that contract so save and close of course i could then add to that of course it will remove anything that wasn't relevant but save and close and if I now go back and go to, well, finance again, I can pick up one of my customer contracts. So go to customer contracts here um, and all contracts. Let's display a contract. So here's one. May as well pick that, that top one there, contract number seven. If I just click on that one to display it, sort of similar layout to a transaction like a quotation or an order you've got the sort of header details of that contract of course you've got um, some dates maybe start date end date contract duration type of contract and so on and then lower down you've got the one or many items that that's covered under that contract um, but to create the to, to merge now to the Google Docs, click on the, the Notes tab there. There's my Google Docs. And there's the template I just created, Contract New. And just wait a second or two. And there we are. Um, new created 
newly created contract template and merged um, successfully against a contract, there's might need to do a little bit of adjustment on the uh, the alignment there of the column widths, but you get the idea. And you can also view that in your browser if you want to. It's all online. There's um, there's the actual um, finished template completed document within my browser window and yeah you know all these menu options there they're pretty much identical to uh, to word um, very easy to to pick it up so that's the the google docs um implementation uh what um uh we normally do now is open out um our call the end of our call to any uh um questions you may have around this feature or any sort of general workbook questions as well so if you type those please into your question box um, question from Stefan can we transfer our word documents over uh, yes you can um, obviously you need to um, those merge fields I showed you those little that syntax of merging information that will have to be uh, redone but yeah you can sort of copy and paste them over uh, I think would be the, the primary way of doing that um, next question from Heather what about electronic signature so workbooks has integration with um, two main systems uh, Adobe sign and DocuSign so those would be without knowing the exact um, detail there Heather of what you want to do and maybe I'll, I'll contact you after this call but yeah the, the, so workbooks have got um, integration to Adobe Sign and DocuSign and uh, used by quite a few of our clients to um, manage the creation of those documents as a PDF document sending it to the client for signature um, and then having that tracked excuse me having that trap back in your workbook system works really well um, around sort of financial transactions um, next question from Andrew is this feature only available within the more advanced membership I don't recall the name of the more expensive membership with invoicing no this this is um, available with any edition of um, if, if you're referring to um, Andrew the two different editions the two different main flavors of workbooks that we've got we've got CRM edition and business edition and you can mix and match your users some of them could be on CRM some could be on business but CRM does all the main CRM things that you'd expect plus the ability to create um, quotes so that first example I showed you of creating the quote um, yeah, I mean, Google, Google Docs going to work across all these different editions. Business edition is the one that allows you to create um, financial transactions like a sales order, an invoice, credit note, um, that sort of thing. So, uh, I, okay, so it's the, the yeah, so contracts are is an additional module, um, and I can send you information on that on the contracts module. Uh, it is available or it's included in the pro version of these different editions so um, hopefully that's not not too uh, confusing for you but yeah the, the, there is a contracts module um, and I'll send you information that Andrew yeah thank you very much okay don't think there's any more questions coming through any more late questions um, come through after I've completed the call I'll, I'll answer those separately via email um, just to keep you in the loop with um, I mean if if you as a workbooks user you should be receiving the regular bulletins from workbooks um, but uh, we are aware that there is a, a word link coming soon so I mean relevant to the theme of this morning's presentation I've shown you the Google Docs integration if you if you're if you're diehard word fans you love word then then stay tuned maybe um don't jump ship right now to g suite um there is a word link coming soon uh we had a question about electronic signature there is a new integration to docusign um docusign's probably well they say they're the market leader in electronic signature um application so there's a new integration with docusign coming um 
We've got an intro training course next week on workbooks. If you've got a new starters, we'll just take them through the day-to-day -day aspects of using workbooks. We're also we're also preparing. We've had a lot of interest in um, recently in reporting with workbooks. So we are going to introduce a like a masterclass, like a fairly intensive one or possibly two day intensive course on reporting and dashboards in workbooks. Tremendously powerful now. There's um, been lots of new features added to reporting and dashboards of late. So <clears throat> stay tuned on that. Um, yeah, so we're pretty much done uh, this morning on our Google Docs um, integration. So thanks very much for your attendance, everyone. Hopefully you found that of interest. If you've got any ideas on future um, workbooks topics that would be of interest to the workbooks community at large, uh, please email me, tim at wizard-systems.com. Uh, but thanks very much for your time and watch out for the link to the recording. Thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye.